Hi guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. So listen, I just did Patreon, okay? Um, and I, I felt the need to come on to YouTube briefly. I, I've never gotten such a clear message, okay? So I'm going to tell you right now. And I'll tell you exactly how it went. Pay attention to red flags, deception, wedding, children. Okay? So, I, how many times have I, I know how to read these cards? Something shady going on. Pay attention to red flags. Deception. Being lied to. Okay? Wedding card. Shady card. The whole three years I've been doing Terrell, there's always been a shady card. Children. So, there is a marriage or this is between two people who have children. Okay? There's there's no question. And the message here, I'll show you how exactly how it went. The message here, I clarified this first. You know, the alchemist. Tricky in this situation. Okay? Who? The Empress. So this is for the masculine. The masculine needs to know there's some shady shit going down. This feminine energy is still trying to keep you entangled. And if this hasn't happened yet, it's about to. She's still lying with deception. I don't know if you're dealing with a fire sign, Leo, Sag, Aries, or a Taurus. All right? She's still holding on. Okay? She's holding on to pain. She does not want to see the emperor walk away. All right? Clearly, with the wedding, once again, the emperor's turning his back in a way. And wants to go in a new direction so wanting out of a situation but not quite getting out of a situation with children this came into play there's a possibility someone can be pregnant but I, I'm not really feeling it like that this is more like they're using the children to take away someone's happiness because on top of that clarified is like strength with like, there's something very karmic going on here with a masculine. There's no question. Why? Because there's another lover. Okay? These messages can't be more clear. I am not going to tell you the entire story because that belongs to Patreon. Okay? But I felt the need to put this out here. And my masculine, you have to be on top of this. And, you know, wedding card, shady shit deception the empress comes out the emperor he's turning his back he wants to go in another direction she's she's up to no, no good she's got something up her sleeve she's hurt that there's somebody else in the picture she's about to use the children to save something because somebody's going in a new direction okay so it's up to you my masculine where you're at in your own journey and, and what lessons you need to learn. I feel like there was a lesson learned already. So kudos because it's like, yep, going in a new direction. But this energy is, is lingering. And if it hasn't presented itself yet, it will this week. Because the read was for this week. She will start using the children to take away your fun time. To just to play takeaway. I don't. It, she's not, it's not like take away, bam, you can't see your child. Maybe for some of you, okay? Not in this case because it's telling the masculine to stay strong here. You know, focus elsewhere. Um, always focus on the children. But, like, she wants something to go in her favor. See what I'm saying? So, hey, can you babysit the kids? Because she, she wants to play takeaway because someone she realizes somebody else is having fun elsewhere probably with somebody else you guys could be dating somebody who knows okay but she's she's not having it all right I will pull one card for you I think when it comes to the children um unfortunately she is going to throw children in your face there might be an old pattern because for a patreon they did get the mirror which is basically somebody giving you a hard time talking about the same old thing, the same old problem that never get fixed. It's like it's it's like she's hanging something over your head and it's it's awful. 
It's just, it's not cool. And if she's hanging the children over your head, whether it's an old pattern or the same old argument, some of you, she might like, oh, take away. Because there's some shady women out there. I mean, there's no doubt. I, I grew up um, in a young age and, and witnessing all sorts of stuff. You're not going to see your fucking kid and blah, blah. It's such bullshit, all right? It, it's just such a maturity. I don't think that's what you're dealing with. But for some of you, you might be dealing with somebody who's nasty like that. But I don't think that's the case. It's just she's going to be like, hey, you want so-and-so or you want the kids, you want this. Because she wants to take away some of your happy time okay so it's it just it is what it is is a masculine walking away from a situation she's she's got some tricks up her sleeve she's really trying to keep you thinking about her there, there there's just there's no question you could be dealing with a fire sign or earth sign she's she's holding on she's like yeah you, you know you're not walking away I, i'm hurt here and you know <sighs> yada yada and he's kind of like yeah well I'm kind of going in a new direction and she's she's feeling it she's sensing it so she's gonna start having ulterior motives I think at one point she was using her emotions and just like shooting the shit making small talk or like yeah I've changed no she hasn't changed okay this is I just want something I can't have right this second and I think it's completely over and and god forbid Okay, because I saw the tower. So for some of you, it's the aftermath. And for others of you, it's it's the very beginning. And um, oh, I was going to tell you another little story, but that last for Patreon. Okay, so I, I, this, I needed to make this um, real clear. Interested talking. Yeah, like see, like waiting for your messages, conversating more, waiting for the message, waiting to see how you're going to reply, making herself known. Like, what are you doing? I want to talk. I want attention. You know, you got heartbroken. She's, she's feeling a separation, you know, some morning. So right now, this isn't saying anything awful. She's just feeling a situation. But she is manipulating a situation here. For something to go in her direction, but she's she's dealing with something karmic, and she's going to have to deal with this on her own. So if that if the masculine is catering to this, then you really haven't learned your lesson, and, and and something will come back and and kick you in the ass for that too. But right now it looks like the masculine's in the clear, and she's just hurt that there's you know like I said there's somebody else in the picture. Let me just see one more. I can see if she has like a motive. I think eventually just keep doing your thing. Don't let don't let her um, get the best of you. Don't she sees you happy elsewhere, you know? And she it's it's jealousy. She's just she's not happy about the situation. Okay, and with her energy right now, it's just not today. Not dealing with the hurt. Could be avoiding a conversation. You know, I don't I don't really think she's putting up boundaries. But she's you know clearly she's she's angry. Okay, um, so. I just want to see one thing with the children because to me it's more like hey can you do this can you do that like or she's gonna be like don't you dare introduce if you're dating don't you dare introduce anybody to xyz you know what I mean like she's she's gonna be on a little kick for a little while yeah she it's the attention you know it's I don't know if the man is giving her less but she wants to keep it like bam center of attention. I want more. This could be about money too. I need more money for the kids. I need this. Cause something just told me you stop giving her, you stop giving her money. You watch the tables turn. Watch what happens when you stop kicking in. Yeah. Ugh. Anywho, there's your message. I wish you guys the very bestest. Mingya. Love you guys. Bye.